Sub brands The smartphone market is loaded with many sub brands of major companies. Other sectors like vehicles too have sub brands, but that is a discussion for other day. Before going to our topic, I would like to clear that these are my opinions and outcome of my research, and this is no official article of any company. Although we'll share the secret of their treasure. Okay, jokes apart, and let's start. Sub brands are subclass or branches of their parent company. Like we see many reputed and recognized companies around us, examples Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, Realme, OnePlus, Redmi, Apple, Asus, Motorola, Lenovo, Huawei, Samsung, etc. Mention the remaining one in the comment section, which I didn't mention here. In this list of phone makers, some are parent companies, some are subsidiaries or sub brands, and some companies does not have any sub brands. That again, a talk for other day, so the video doesn't get lengthy here. In present, Xiaomi is a parent company and it has sub brand as MI, Redmi, Poco, and Black Shark. Wavy have Honor and BVK have Vivo, OnePlus, and Oppo. And again, Vivo have IQ and Oppo have Realme as sub brand. But why they are all following the same hierarchy of sub brands? To understand this, let's start from scratch. Why, first of all, parent company exists? Because they want to accomplish their aim in the market. To achieve their target, they have to be loyal with customers and have to build a trust among customers, which will take time and after that, they will be recognized among customers. Customer will know the company by some taglines and these taglines define the motive of company, like what they are providing in their smartphone, are they for selfie or are they for gaming or are they for photography and what type of photography in the daylight or in the night or they are house of power that means they have long lasting battery or they are master in processing and this list goes on. And particular brand will provide their product in the specific price range like entry level or mid ranger or a flexible smartphone. By all these aspects, company creates its image in the mind of customer. Also, phone manufacturer launches different series to hit the target audience. But the image that has already been built up in the mind of customer will say, "Hey, this company makes a gaming phone, and now they have launched the new series which features the best photographic camera." So this creates a dilemma for customer because company is doing something new and it can be an instant hit or maybe a flop show, just like a gamble. And as said in the subject of total quality management, quality is inversely proportional to variability. So the better idea is to go with sub brand. It will have new aim to target the new audience. If the parent company is trustworthy and loyal to the customer, the same behavior customer will predict from its sub brand. Here, sub brand got a plus point to reuse the image and reputation of a parent brand. But in a different manner, like if parent company is famous for making high-end phones, the sub-brand will make mid-rangers or if parent company is famous for making budget phones, now sub-brand can make gaming phone. Customer will see sub-brand as a specialized manufacturer for the particular feature and old gold reputation of parent company will be the icing on the cake, which can ensure win-win for the parent company. So does only to trigger the mindset of customers sub-brand exists? Actually, no, the other factor can be illustrated through this example. Suppose there are two clubs for racing, they both want to participate in a racing competition and that race allows only 10 participants. Let two clubs are club A and club B. Let's say club A provided 7 participants and club B provided only 3 participants. So here mathematically probability for winning the competition is higher for club A. But in real life, it also depends on the running ability of a racer. Same thing goes with sub brands. By increasing their number, they are increasing their opportunities. But they do think about the real life factor, which is quality. Like in recent times, there were two phones Redmi Note 9 Pro and Poco M2 Pro. Both were identical in most of features, and both of them have same parent company. Sometimes sub brands only do rebranding just to increase the level of competition. The other factor to consider is that by making sub brands, companies want to ensure to the customer that how specific and precise they are towards their goals, according to their policy. That we can see in case of Xiaomi, its sub brand Black Shark is famous for its gaming phone. Hardly anyone will see it as a Xiaomi regular budget phone, but everyone will see it from the perspective of Black Shark gaming phone. Other example can be seen in case of Realme that was introduced to tackle with Xiaomi sub brand in the segment of budget smartphones. And why so many sub brands? Then we can see the answer as if one company launches its sub brand and they are getting good response from people, then other competitor companies just can't sit idle. They too will develop the strategy to overcome the situation. 
Now what they will do is just follow the same procedures sub brand for sub brand that makes competition for competition and this war goes on to win the market. So this was all in the video it was my thought that why sub brand exists and why so many of are there in the market. If you have different opinion or you see from different perspective then you are welcome to share your thoughts with us in comment section. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion see you soon in the next update until then be cheerful.